guys and welcome to my studio vlog. My name's Siobhan and I run Peach Lane Studio. You will have just seen footage from yesterday which was packing orders and making a little surprise for my patrons. Um, so because it's so close to Christmas I wanted to send them something that they wouldn't expect and this isn't just for the happy mail tier because they'll be getting that separate so this is anyone who was on a paid tier so I've made them a little Christmas card and a sticker I'm hoping that they all like it and I'm going to send them out today and hopefully they'll get them soon I think I'll put them up as first class but I just think they're so cute um, and I've not sealed them yet because I wanted to kind of show you properly so i wrote a little message inside but then we've got the little stocking and then on the back is like my normal um like card back and then we've got these stickers so we've got the stocking which is the same as the card and then we've got this little candy cane so yeah i'm really happy with them um i was originally going to save this design for next year and i still will in terms of putting it on my etsy but i just thought it was nice to give it to my patrons and it means they've got early access to a product almost a year in advance so yeah um i'm really happy with it it's cute it says all i want for christmas is stationery and then it's got a few of like my products in there as well but yeah i think they're really cute Obviously I had to go with the pink envelopes. They're quite hard to find in terms of the bigger sizes. But in terms of the mini ones I thought they were perfect. And it means I've got something extra in terms of product types for my Happy Mail tier. So it means I can make mini greetings cards and have them as an option as well. Because the A6 ones are worth a lot more than what I could offer on the Happy Mail tier. So yeah I think these will be good. So obviously the Happy Mail tier could be a mini greetings card it could be a sticker it could be a bookmark or a print so it just means i've got more options so i'm happy with that so today's plan is a little bit different to my usual days so i've got a bit less time to work today because it's amelia's christmas performance in school so i'll be going to see that later on which means i'm probably going to lose about an hour and a half maybe a bit more um so yeah i need to get stuck in really and i've had a bit of a slow morning in terms of starting work it's 10 40 now and i've not really got anywhere so i've got an order to pack that came through this morning i've just sold the last content planner which is an a4 notepad and i don't think i'll be restocking them because the a4 notepads are really expensive and i can't order them in big quantities because it just costs too much but it also means that because I'm ordering them in such small quantities that I'm not actually making much profit, if any, from them. Especially when you then factor in the packaging, the postage, it, it gets it gets a lot. So um, I don't think I will be restocking them. I might try and turn it into an A5 notepad that could be an option i think i'm gonna slowly phase out my a4 notepads and just stick with a5 and a6 um that's that so i need to pack that order and what else I need to record my podcast for patreon and i need to carry on working on the happy mail design for december might not be able to actually show it you on this vlog because obviously it'll give it away for my patrons but we'll see so yeah anyway i am gonna get going now i'm gonna record the podcast for patreon and then i'm gonna go post the patreon surprises the little christmas cards i'm gonna post them and then hopefully get a little bit of drawing done before i go and watch amelia at the christmas performance
So I thought what I'd do is I'd go through what my goals of 2023 are, whether I have reached them, and then I want to talk you through some goals for next year that I'm really hoping to achieve, and then we can look back on that in December next year and see how I got on. Okay, so the first goal I had was to get a sale a day on Etsy, and it pretty much has worked out. It's only in the last, I'd say, four or five months that I have been getting that consistently, but I have achieved it. Last month I got 60 sales, and the month before I got 36. So I've definitely hit my goal of 30, 31 sales a month. Hopefully it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and it'll be good. So I do want to continue that next year. I'm hoping maybe I get two sales a day, so like 60 orders a month, that would be great, but we'll see. I would be happy with 50 orders a month, but 60 would be amazing. My second goal was to reach 1,000 sales on Etsy, so I did that at the end of November, and I wasn't expecting it, so I was I was really happy. I started the year on around 300 sales on Etsy. So the fact that I've had 700, nearly 800 now because I don't think I'm that far off 1,100. But yeah, it's, it's mind blowing because I had 300 sales over a year, I think. Yeah, so 300 sales in the first year, let's say. And this year I've had 700. So it's growing in the direction that I want it to. And it's looking good. Um, my other goal was to reach a thousand followers on Instagram. Now I know followers don't always equal sales and you shouldn't get too focused on numbers. However, it was a big milestone that I wanted to achieve and it does mean even if they might not be sales, it's still people discovering your page and your shop. It's always good to have. So yeah, I reached 1,000 followers, I think it was in October maybe, or possibly November, but yeah, that was a really good feeling. And so thank you to everyone who's following me um, because it means the world. Okay, so my next goal for 2023 was to launch my own Patreon and it was probably like my biggest goal and it wasn't something that I was entirely sure I'd end up doing. It was just something I'd wanted to do. I wanted to do it the year before, but there was no way like, given the size of my business that it would have worked so I waited and I very nearly waited again this year but I'm glad that I did it and it might only be a small community at the minute but I'm happy I love it and yeah I'm super proud of myself for doing it and obviously if you've seen my last vlog you'll have seen that I added two new tiers onto it so we've now got the tip jar tier the digital tier and the happy meal tier and yeah, it's it's going well and I'm happy. So yeah, I'm proud of myself for that one. So I'm gonna keep going with that, obviously keep promoting it and keep working hard on it in terms of the digital content and the happy mail each month. I'm really happy that I launched it. My next goal was to show my face on YouTube. So as you can see, I've achieved that. I did it last year on one of my vlogs and I ended up deleting it and I was really worried what the comments might be, whether people were going to be kind or not. You make yourself vulnerable and it is scary but I'm glad I've done it and hopefully everyone will be kind and yeah. But yeah, as I mentioned on one of my previous vlogs, I wanted to do it because I want you guys to get to know me and yeah i'm an introvert and yeah it's really difficult for me to do but i'm hoping that it does help you guys get to know me and build that connection as well it will hopefully boost my confidence and i'm hoping that i stick with it next year because i am enjoying it the next goal was to do a market and by market i mean like in person so i have done online market so i do the eHearts market i've done three of them so far two of them were this year they're always amazing and they've helped me grow a lot but um i would love to do an in-person market and it was a goal this year and i didn't manage to achieve it but it's okay like we can try again next year i am really tempted on stationary fest 
because it looked amazing it's obviously gonna have the right buyers there it's exactly who i aim my products to but it's a big one and it's daunting and it's a lot of money i have heard all good things like i've not heard a single person say anything bad about it so yeah it's tempting i think i might put my name down and see what happens but ideally i would like to try out some smaller markets before doing something like that just to see how it goes and obviously so i'm not throwing myself in the deep end because that is going to be a big one it's going to be busy i'm going to need a lot of stock so yeah we'll see but that is something i hope to do but obviously haven't managed to do it this year okay so in terms of 2024 goals obviously i've mentioned some of them as i've been speaking but ideally i would like to hit 2000 sales on etsy that would be really good so i'm currently on just over a thousand sales hopefully i can double that also i'd like to reach 2000 followers on instagram and 1000 subscribers on youtube which i think is doable i'm almost at 600 subscribers on youtube so it's not it's not impossible at all and i would be surprised if i didn't get a thousand by the end of next year but we'll see we never know what happens in a few years time if i want to look back at these studio vlogs and see how far i've come hopefully i'm still doing this um but yeah that'd be nice another goal is to grow my patreon community so i'm currently on seven paid members not including the free members that follow me yeah i was hoping to get to 10 by the end of the year but i don't think it's going to happen so that's okay we'll just try and grow next year hopefully this time next year i'm really hoping i'm going to have 20 patrons but we'll see i feel like patreon is a bit of a slow burner for some people and that is definitely what's happened in my case another goal is that i want to launch my own website this is going to take a while though um i originally wanted to do it in january but we'll just have to see it depends if it's quiet or not but it's a big commitment and it's going to take a long time for me to set it up so i need to make sure that obviously all my products are transferred over i need to make sure the website looks good and all the links are working so we'll see hopefully it'll be next year but if not i will still be on etsy and etsy is doing well for me like sometimes it can take a while to get seen on etsy but once the orders start coming in for me anyway it's it's then become quite consistent and even when i'm not posting every day on instagram when, and trying to promote etsy i'm still getting the orders coming through so yeah fingers crossed that i've got a website set up by december next year but we'll see and then on top of that i would like to open a tiktok shop so i'm in the process of doing it but i've not actually opened the shop yet um i've not added any listings or anything so i definitely want to do the website but tiktok is just an added bonus if i feel like i've got the time to accept orders from that platform as well so yeah we'll see another goal of mine is to design my first ever enamel pin so anyone who's shopped with me before will know that i do acrylic pins at the moment but i've always wanted to do an enamel pin i need to make sure that it's a design that i love and that i think you guys will love so yeah we will see it might take me until the end of next year it just depends i feel like i need to wait until i create something that i no will be good on an enamel pin so yeah we'll see on that one but fingers crossed because i would love to make one i also want to try and draw more i just think it would be obviously beneficial to my small business if i draw more because it means more designs for you it means more practice for me but also i want to do it for myself because i don't often get the time to draw and when i do it's because i'm designing a product specifically for the shop but it would be nice if i just had some time to do my own thing and not have a plan in mind just start drawing and see what happens so that is my plan to make sure that i am drawing for fun as well as drawing for work 
and lastly i pretty much want to carry on what i'm doing in terms of the studio vlog so i want to try and be consistent obviously it's not going to be every week i don't think i've got that in me <laughs> but at least once a month have a studio vlog for you all and just growing confidence hopefully like i'm really proud that i have started showing my face i'm just really hoping that that does continue because you all seem to like getting to know me and you seem to like seeing all the behind the scenes so i'm glad that i have come back to youtube and yeah i'm gonna carry on with it as best i can and i can't wait to look back on this and see where i'm up to in december 2024 
so I just want to say thank you all so so much for watching I'm excited for Christmas now Dylan's got a bit of time off of Christmas so we can spend some time together obviously Amelia will be off school soon and yeah it's gonna be nice um, I probably won't do any more vlogs until January but my Etsy shop will still be open and I will still be posting orders out over the Christmas period but yeah I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and New Year and I will see you in 2024 Bye guys!